I say this nicely? Tennessee is going to force DoorDash Bennett to beat him, and he can't beat him. He simply can't make those throws, and he will also make mistakes if you force him to. You're about to see one of the coldest and harshest reality checks of college football this entire season on Saturday. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, we are one day away. Tomorrow is the day that us, college football fans, me and you, we dream about. This is what we live for, these types of matchups. You got two of the best teams going at it, not in a playoff game, but a regular season game. It doesn't get better than this. The only way it would disappoint is if Georgia or Tennessee, they blow out one another, and I don't think that's going to happen. All throughout this week, especially in the last couple of days, we've talked about Tennessee-Georgia a lot. Rightfully so, it's a top two matchup, or technically a top three matchup. But I don't think anybody minds us talking about it a lot on the channel because it deserves all the hype and attention in the world. All throughout this week, it's all I've been thinking about. And if you want me to be honest, it's all I was thinking about last week as well. Maybe some of y'all are just like me. Let me know in the comment section. Every night I go to bed, I'm like, okay, we're one day closer to a Tennessee and Georgia matchup. That's how excited I am for this game. And let me remind you, I'm a Bama fan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. I saved the best for last though. I want to dedicate today's video to one player and one player only. Stetson DoorDash Bennett. Have we already talked about him a little bit here and there? Yes, but we haven't talked about him enough. Ha 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 ha. Oh, man, oh, man, let's just say I got a lot to say. We ain't doing no intro. We don't got time for that. I want to get into it. You guys want to get into it. All right, Matt, blah, 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 shut the crap up. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Say it with me now, DoorDash Bennett. He's the X Factor. Everybody knows this, though, or at least I hope you know it. Before we go any farther, I want to make this extremely clear. I don't hate DoorDash Bennett. I like Bennett as a person. He seems like a humble young man, a guy that I'd want to hang around, and he's going to have a successful career selling car insurance or driving for DoorDash in the future. Unfortunately, the sad reality is I don't work for ESPN. I'm not Kirk Herbstreit. I'm not Desmond Howard. I'm not any of these guys. I can say it how it is. I can tell you the truth and how I really feel. All these guys that work for ESPN, if they think a player isn't good at football, they can't sit up there and say that. They're going to say, oh, well, he hasn't played that great, but maybe he'll play better. I don't have a contract with ESPN, so I can tell you the truth. And the truth is, and I hate to say this because once again, let me reiterate, I like DoorDash Bennett as a person, but he's not a good football player. It is what it is. Does he do a good job for Georgia distributing? Distributing the ball to the playmakers, yes, but when it comes to being a quarterback and making big time throws, no, not that good. He's average. And I think a lot of people misunderstand when I say average, you automatically assume I'm saying he sucks. No, when I say he's average, he's average. Being quote unquote average, it's not bad. If he was bad, I'd say he's bad. Being average, it's a passing grade. Fortunately enough for Georgia and DoorDash Bennett, that's all they need him to be. Just be average. And what I'm about to say should tell you how good Georgia is surrounding Bennett. He can play average in almost 99 out of 100 games and they're going to win. That's the bottom line. Georgia is becoming the new Alabama where it doesn't matter who's going to play quarterback. They're going to win 10 games a year. I firmly believe though for Georgia to win this game or even have a chance in this game, DoorDash Bennett has to play good or great. I don't think you're going to be able to throw these dump offs to Brock Bowers and Darnell Washington, and that's going to be the end all be all. Bennett's going to have to make big time plays, not only in the passing game, but the running game as well. I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. He's a poor man's version of Johnny Menzel. <laughs> Here's a fun fact for you. The two starting quarterbacks on Thursday Night Football last night were 24 years old, and Stetson Bennett is 25, and Hendon Hooker is also about to be 25. This Tennessee-Georgia game is simply the battle of two middle-aged old men. Hendon Hooker and Stetson Bennett got two house mortgages, and they're still in college. Hey, it is what it is, though. Let's cut the bull crap and look at some serious numbers. I'm going to show you Hooker's numbers first. We all know he's been playing phenomenal this year. My Heisman front runner. He's got 2,300 passing yards, 20. 21 touchdowns to only one INT, QBR of 91.3. Not too bad. But then you take a look at DoorDash Bennett, he's right up there in the passing yards. He's actually one spot behind Hendon Hooker with 2,349. Now, yes, he's far behind in the touchdowns to interception ratio, but the QBR right up there with him as well, 84.2. So on paper, DoorDash Bennett, he looks like a good quarterback, but trust me, he's not. Y'all know how I ridicule and criticize Ohio State for their cupcake schedule in the Big Ten. That's a different conversation for a different day but Georgia's isn't too much better. Outside of the Oregon game, and I've already said that since week one, that was an amazing win. It may be the best win up to this point. They haven't played anybody. Sanford, okay. South Carolina, they suck. Kent State, they suck. Missouri, they suck. Auburn sucks. Vanderbilt sucks. And Florida sucks. You take away that Oregon game, Georgia's played the cupcake schedule like the Big Ten. I say that to say this. DoorDash Bennett 
hasn't been tested up to this point. He hasn't really faced adversity, whereas Hendon Hooker in the primetime game against Alabama, we saw what he could do. In my Week 10 preview video, I stated that Tennessee has the best rushing defense, or not the best, but one of the best, but they also have one of the worst passing defenses. And one of y'all responded to it, and I really like this comment. Shout out to Brady Lowe, and here's what he had to say. The reason Tennessee's defense is ranked first in rushing and last in passing is because most teams are playing from behind, so they really don't run the ball much against Tennessee at all, and sometimes that can cause stats to be deceiving. The pass defense isn't that bad. It's just a stat because everything passes. I think they meant to say everyone passes the ball against him. And I think they meant to say them there because they have to. I don't know why, but I didn't think about it. That's a great point. So maybe, just maybe, Tennessee's passing defense ain't as bad as we try to make it out to seem or I try to make it out to seem. Now, granted, they're not good. Bryce Young carved them up like a pumpkin, but I would say they may not be as bad as I've been trying to make them out to seem. It's also vice versa. Maybe the rushing defense ain't as good as I've been trying to make them out to seem because nobody's running the ball against Tennessee. Well, they are running the ball, but like that comment said, most teams are behind, so they're passing a lot. <laughs> Oh, I also want to read off this comment. Somebody said, the mailman gonna deliver. Go dogs!" I'm not a Georgia fan, so I'm genuinely asking my Georgia fans, do you really and truly trust and believe in Stetson DoorDash Bennett? I'm curious. If I went up to you right now and said, who are you putting your money on as a quarterback? Who's better, Hendon Hooker or Stetson Bennett? Are you choosing Bennett? If you had a bet on this game, Tennessee or Georgia, ultimately it's gonna come down to quarterback play, are you confident enough to put your money on Bennett? I'm not. Something to think about. Let me know your thoughts down below. But what did I talk about in yesterday's video? Bennett has only had two passes over 40 yards this entire season, and Tennessee's backup has had three. I would be beyond shocked if Tennessee sits in one of those deep zones and lets Bennett throw those five-yard dump-offs, 10-yard slants, and the bubble screens. I don't think Tennessee's going to do that. I think they're going to put seven, eight in the box and say, hey, Bennett, if you can make a 40-yard pass, then you deserve to beat us. I think that's what's going to happen. If it doesn't happen, like I said, I'd be shocked. How do I say this nicely? Tennessee is going to force DoorDash Bennett to beat him and he can't beat him he simply can't make those throws and he will also make mistakes if you force him to if you can take away georgia's running attack which i think tennessee has a great chance of doing because trust me they're going to put seven in the box then you only got one guy to stop and maybe he stops himself and that's bennett you're about to see one of the coldest and harshest reality checks of college football this entire season on Saturday. This isn't an if, and, or but. Stetson Bennett will get exposed. I'm going to go back to this. Remember when Alabama beat Stetson Bennett two times in a row before the championship game? Why did Alabama win? Because Bennett made mistakes. Bennett had costly interceptions, and even in the championship game, he had a costly fumble that led to a touchdown. Come on, guys. It's common knowledge. Bennett cannot win you a shootout. Yeah, he can win you a game when you hold Alabama at 18 points in the championship, but when it comes to a shootout, there's not a chance. And whether Georgia likes it or not, you're going to play in a shootout. Tennessee is going to score more than 30 points at minimum. I hope that Bennett proves me wrong, but he's not going to. I've seen him play for two and a half years. I know who he is, and I know how he plays. And the rest of the country is going to see I'm right on Saturday, because once you take away those 5, 10, 15-yard passes, Bennett's just your typical average quarterback. There's nothing special about him. There's a reason he's 25 and playing college football. He's not that good. I'll leave it at this for now. We'll see you on Saturday. I'm very curious. Let me know your thoughts down below. But, Daryl,